Okay, topic of this video, dog first aid kit, what we're carrying in my sled for safety and that kind of thing. But the dog first aid kit is applicable to anybody that's just out on a trail, uh, walking their dog or a multi-purpose dog if it's any kind of working dog or somebody that does like the circuit for uh, herding or anything like that. So do a quick view around. Uh, so first thing uh, in the flap here, I always switch this stuff around. I have a big long yellow rope. It's about 50 feet. That allows me various options to tie up the team if something disastrous happens. And we go right to the top of the flap here. And I have a first aid kit that I move around from sled to sled, from item to item. And I have a thing of, uh, oh, I see the sun's in the way. Oh, that was a terrible choice. How about I do this? There we go. That might be helpful. That's better. Excellent. Okay. Yes, please comment. Let me know what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, anybody that, any kind of pets, doesn't matter. Cattle, uh, dairy, horses, blue coat. Carry that with you all the time. Spray it real quick on any kind of cuts or wounds. And for this camera as well, it's blue coat, Dr. Naylor is available online carry that with me first thing to grab moving to the pack this is important and uh, so uh, how am I gonna do this here oh it looks like I'm gonna sit my ass down okay oh in the snow so in the kit first thing that's available in the flap you'll see is a dog tourniquet and a muzzle first thing dog tourniquet and a muzzle I'm gonna try this one-handed this is available on Amazon it's a multi-purpose uh, tourniquet you can use it on a human but most importantly on a dog and in a really bad situation uh, cutting off the blood flow with both human and with dog it may be a very very critical we also have in here a muzzle that will fit most dogs uh, an injured dog will give you a hard time uh, so it's important to muzzle him Let's open it up Oh, I can do it with one hand. Very good, very good. Okay. Some really simple stuff inside here that I've prepared. Uh, I'm not sure if that's... There we go, yeah. So I'll go through it quickly. Uh, needle. Don't have any meds yet, but I had uh, originally planned to put some meds in the kit. So we're going to continue with that. Uh, a miniature roll of duct tape. Uh, I just wrapped it around. You know, just enough that I need that if I got to really put a band-aid that's bleeding, I know I got something that's going to hold it tight. This is just an extra tourniquet if necessary. Could be used as an alternate muscle as well. It's hard to see here, but this is uh, glue. We can glue up. Um, mine, myself, or the dog, actually. A lot of this stuff is uh, multi-purpose, um, you know, so. Um, women's hygiene products, tampons. Uh, there's a lot of spots that uh, are on a human and a dog that are not easy to get to with just a flat bandage. These, you don't need to have gloves on. They have the applicator and everything. Um, I have a couple sets, a couple of these rolls. These allow me to put on a large gauze bandage and wrap it around a dog's leg or around the body even if necessary is another one in there these are just ziploc bags big massive ziploc bags if there's any kind of uh, open wound a large wound on a dog or a human these can be opened up and spread out the duct tape can be used or even this can be used to help close that up another little bit of duct tape uh, and these are some pads um, again, this is an inexpensive way to do this. Um, you know, these pads will absorb a lot. These are large women's hygiene pads. Um, you get a couple of them in there, and that's a lot cheaper than putting a four-inch Israeli bandage in there. My other IFAC does have that. Sorry, it's an IFAC, not a DFAC. So this would be a DFAC, not an IFAC. So, yeah, we got for that camera, the benefit of that camera, there's some women's hygiene pads in there. Uh, that I that absorb a lot of blood um, if you have any kind of an issue 
that's just Ziploc bags down there in the middle, big Ziploc bags. You can cut those open for a human wound or a dog wound and cover that up using that tape, that horse wrap, or just regular tape. Um, and we'll review it quickly again for anybody that's joining us. Tampons, you know, not all wounds are flat. Sometimes they're in the crotch or around the back of the armpit or something. These will plug any kind of wound quickly and are easy to handle. We talked about the tape. There's an extra tourniquet or possible muzzle if you're in a jam. Duct tape pre-wrapped on a little bit of cardboard. It's usable for many uh, different applications to the first aid kit. So this is the dog first aid kit or a DFAC if you want to call it that, that I carry with me. Crazy glue. It can be used on a human wound or a dog wound in a situation. And this is just a first aid kit. This is not a final solution. Obviously, you're going to bring your uh, dog to a vet um, after you get back in. Anybody that's just joining us, muzzle. A tourniquet that works on a dog. Available on Amazon called SWAT. Can be used on a human as well. Um, I prefer the Gen 7 tourniquet for myself, which I don't know why I don't have in my sled, but uh, it's probably in the it's in the four-wheeler oh no actually i take that back if i look at my backpack in there i do have a gen 7 tourniquet so and that's something that i actually should be carrying on me if i'm not carrying a first aid kit uh, with me so anybody have any questions i can actually see my screen down there so we did the dog first aid kit i also have a set of hemos there um just i had an extra set so i threw it in there not really usable unless you're doing up some stitching or something like that but again this is just a first aid kit quickly cover up a blood or wound wrap it up and get yourself back um, as quickly as possible and a can of blue coat i started that off in the video and i showed it at the beginning of the video that's quick spray spray and wrap up and get yourself back been there a couple of times on myself and i've actually had an incident with the dogs fighting where i've had to wrap them up so so that covers the dog first aid kit or backslash individual first aid kit for dogs.